God, Mr. Carson. No, thank you, Mr. Jones. Better not start off by smoking up all the profits, right? Oh, that'd take a heap of a lot of smoking. <laughs>
What are you doing back there? What's taking you so long? Well, I gotta find a pencil. I... <laughs> What famous idiot left this thing laying around here? Put that mouse trap back where you found it and drag yourself out of here. Hey, you can't tell me where to go in my own store. What makes you think I can't tell you where to go? This is the property of the United States government, and don't you dash that foot in here again. Give me that mouse trap. <laughs> hey, give me back my finger. Oh. Uh. A woman must be pretty desperate to have to set traps to catch a man. Do you think I'd want to keep anything I could catch in a mouse trap? I never saw any man who's worth a hill of beans, and you don't cause me to change my mind. Yeah, I don't know which can play a man the worst, a woman or a mosquito. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe that's a private fight. Strangers aren't welcome. Private or not, they can't hold it in my store. Ah, break it up. You keep up. You heard what I said. so the Kirby punchers would jump Dan Harper. But I don't know how that stranger got into it. That doesn't make any difference, as long as we keep him fighting. I guess that'll learn I'm not to start any wild balls in my store. Yeah, you're sure wildcat when you get riled, Fuzz. There ain't that half of it. I... Come on, Fuzz. Well, we soon finished that little squabble, didn't we? You've only started your trouble. Wait till you go up against the boss of that Kirby outfit. Uh, if he's half smart, he'll stay away from me, or I'll soon show him where to head in. How you feeling, Dad? A little better. What happened to you? Oh, uh, we was having an argument with one of them cow steel nesters when a couple of fellows in the store jumped us from behind. Who were they? I don't know. Never saw them before. More settlers, I suppose. They're coming in like grasshoppers. It seems like some people have never learned to mind their own business. That's the boss of the Kirby outfit. Why don't you go ahead and show her where to head in? You show me where to head in? Why, you go whiskered old goat, you just try to show me where to head in. You'll find yourself heading down the road so fast I could play checkers on your coattails. 
Well, why don't you say something? You afraid to open your mouth? You seem to have made plenty of big talk when I wasn't around. You better not prod Fuzzy too hard, ma'am. He's terrible when he gets riled. Suppose you keep your mouth shut till I ask for your advice. I don't like smart Alex. Tom, we called for a showdown with you cow-stealing nesters. Now, don't accuse folks of something you can't prove. You cattle ranchers don't want the farmers to settle in the free-range line of the valley. So you cooked up that story to make trouble. That isn't true. We never had any rustling here before you settlers swarmed in. It started then, and it's been going on ever since. Small bunches of cattle are disappearing all the time, and they add up to a heavy loss. You passed the word along that it had better stop, or there'll be serious trouble. Sure is a high-spirited young woman. She had to be. She's been running the Kirby outfit ever since her father was killed, and was doing right well up until lately. Yeah, I can believe that. Buzz, is this your idea of being calm and dignified? How is anybody going to be calm and dignified? Place all cluttered up with fighting females. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hello, Mort. Hello, McDale. Won't you sit down? Steve, I've uh, got to borrow some more money. Well, I appreciate the business, but I'm sorry things are not going so well. Oh, I'd be all right if it wasn't for those thieving nesters. They got away with most of the cattle I planned to sell this year. You know, gun smoke is good medicine for that. Yeah, well, don't be surprised if there's a lot of fireworks one of these days. I'm not the only rancher that's been losing cattle. I'll take some of those peaches there, too. Dan. How'd you happen to settle in this country? Well, most of us bought our land through Steve Kinney. Steve Kinney? Yes, and he's been very good, too, about carrying us for the balance of the money we owe him until we get the land cleared and get our crops in. Oh, I'll have to have a sack of flour, too, Mr. Jones. We didn't come out here to steal cattle. We settled in the valley to build homes for our families so we'd have something to pass on to our children. Yeah, Mr. Hubbard. Yep. <laughs> oh, buddy, come on up here. You always do things the hard way. <laughs> Let me help you with that thing. I'll have the papers made out and the money ready for you the next time you come in. Thanks, Steve. You've been a big help. Oh, I can't take credit for doing you a favor. Loaning money is my business. Nevertheless, I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mort, this is the sweetest setup I've ever had in my life. I'll loan her the money we get from selling her own cattle. And when these suckers go broke fighting each other, you and I move in and take over most of the valley. <laughs> <laughs> quite a sizable bill you got there, Dan. Yeah, it should last me quite a while. I'll have to ask you to put this on the books with the rest I owe you. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Mr. Jones. Boots. Most of your stores in that book, Fuzz. You know, if those people don't pay off, you're broke. Oh, they'll pay off when they sell their crop. You gotta do business this way in a farming country. Nah, it's not good for business, though, when they start making war medicine. Gets to be more important trying to save your hide than harvesting a crop. You've got a lot of crust showing your face around here. Well, it's not much of a face, but I'm not ashamed of it. Well, you will be when I'm finished with it. man isn't any too hospitable. Maybe he has a right to feel that way. What do you want? Oh, I, uh, I just dropped in for a friendly chat. What about? You know, Miss, you, uh, you might be wrong about the settlers. If you have any proof about the wrestling, why don't you turn everything over to the sheriff? You can be sure of something without having any legal proof. And I think I can run my business without any help from you. I'm not worried about how you run your business. I don't like to see innocent people get kicked around just because someone is too stubborn to listen to reason. You don't know they're innocent. You don't know they're guilty. You just think they are. And it's a lot easier to start trouble than it is to stop it. 
I'll do what I think best to protect my property. Goodbye. Shall I haze him off the ranch? I don't think that'll be necessary. Miss you, just saved yourself a hired hand. so interested in turning suspicion away from those nesters. You bought your farm from me and I want to see you prosper. I don't like the way the cattlemen are talking and I don't like the way they're kicking you around. Why they act like they own the whole world and don't seem to think that you have a right to earn a living. I bet they'd sing a different tune if you started paying them back in their own coin. Starting a war dance ain't no way to stop trouble. Most anything can be ironed out with the other fella if you just sit down and talk it over calm and dignified. If you're so afraid of a little trouble, why don't you go find a nice gopher hole and crawl in it? I ain't afraid of trouble. But I bought chips in this here game and I ain't gonna stand by and see them go up and gun smoke. And any time you fellas want to pay cash, you can do as you please. But don't expect me to carry you on the cup for any more groceries if you're gonna mess around with a range war. Hey, will you have this move? one of them before they got him. You still can't prove who owned it. It's no different than any other 44. That's right. But if someone should come in here with a sore arm wanting to buy a gun, it might prove something. I think I better check this in. Mind putting this in your safe on? Why is it so valuable? It was used in a murder. Who was killed? One of the Kirby punchers. Who killed him? I don't know. There were two of them. <laughs> they didn't wait around to be introduced. I think I'd better get on over to the sheriff and tell him what happened. It's his job to catch that murder. He'd better call the army instead of the sheriff. That killing's apt to bust this valley wide open. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, good. I, I'll have to stop that. <clears throat> Taking on a big job for a little man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
his teeth. Have your friend had the trouble with one of Kirby's punches? Did he get a good look at you? Well, it makes no difference whether he did or not. He won't tell nobody nothing. Someone happened along, and I think it was that stranger, Billy Carson. But I don't believe he was close enough to recognize anyone. We can't have any guesswork on anything like that. Well, I just passed him on the street, and he didn't act like I looked familiar. Well, I'll sound him out and see what he knows. Where's Bart? Well, that puncher winged him. So he's staying up at the shack until his arm gets well. I'm going to take him up some grub. It wouldn't be a bad idea if you stayed up there, too, until I find out how things stack up. Yeah? Well, I'll think that over. Trying to be calm and dignified. Trigger happy humans are worse than local mavericks, I... And you got no cause to be up here because you're sitting back of a cage. Any local squirrel could do that. Women ought to stay home where they belong. And a man's got work to do. something for you? Yeah. You can wrangle me up a sack of grub. I want some of that fancy eating. I'll take some of them and some of those. Mix me up a dozen cans of peaches, pears, some plums. Hey, uh, by the way, what have you got in a good 44 six shooter? <laughs> I wasn't in that big a hurry. Did, did, you, did you say you wanted to buy a gun? That's right. Uh, you got a gun. Well, sure. There's no law against a man having two guns, is there? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> well, it can't be that funny. Stop your cackling and rustle up the grub. What's the matter with you? Uh, I beg your pardon, you, you got a sore arm? No, I haven't got a sore arm, but you'll have a sore head if you're not careful. Sore head? You'll be wasting your time. Where there's no sense, there's no feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, sir. I'm uh, sorry I can't give you a better description of the killers. Oh, this valley's a powder keg, and I've been walking a tightrope trying to keep the peace between the farmers and the cattle outfits. Hello, Sheriff. Something wrong? Murder, that's all. One of the Kirby punchers. Who got him? I wish I knew. You coming with me? No, oh, I told you all I know, Sheriff. I told you where it happened. You can read the trail sign. No reason for me to go along. It's none of my business from now on. Okay, I can't ask you to risk your hide if you don't want to. I won't have any trouble getting a posse. The sheriff had no right to expect a stranger to get tangled up in our troubles. Well, that wouldn't even be good sense. Yeah. Man might get himself hurt. That's right. Hey, Billy. I saw I just bought a vessel of grub and a 44 six shooter, but he didn't have no sore arm. You can't accuse a man of being a wrestler just because he bought a gun, Fudd. He might not like it. Well, I ain't accusing nobody, but hey, if you want to store for me, I'll mosey out after him and see where he goes. Go ahead. Unless you might get yourself into a mess of trouble by being too inquisitive. Yes, I'll take care of me. I hope you do.
about? That storekeeper got suspicious when you bought that gun and trailed you. Well, did you get him? I don't know. I didn't want to take a chance on hunting for him in the brush, but I kept him from trailing you. Good. There's no sense in fighting it out with him. Let's go. Trailing didn't like it, huh? Well, it wasn't the fellow I was trailing that jumped me. Some other fellow snuck up from behind on me. Snuck up from behind? That's funny. Oh, I didn't see nothing funny about it. No, I mean, you may have stumbled on something important. Yeah, but you always do it the hard way, Fuzz. Well, at least get it done. We need some ammunition. What's your hurry, Dan? The cattlemen are holding a meeting. They claim we settlers murdered that Kirby puncher. Now, don't you go starting any shooting war. We're not hunting trouble, but we won't be pushed around. All we ask is to be let alone. We bought our land on us. We're working hard to farm it. And we're not going to be run off. We'll fight if need be. That sounds reasonable. But I'll get you the ammunition. Charge all this to me, Mr. Jones. I'll take care of it. All right. You know, Dan, in a case like this, a cool head is a lot more important than fighting men. Well, you tell that to the cattle men. This war talk is their idea, not mine. Come on, boys. You know, Fred, I'd gamble the farmers are honest. There's some funny business going on. This, this fight is being promoted. It isn't on the level. I got him on the books for $236.40. Now, if he goes out and gets himself... Listen, if a real fight breaks out between the farmers and the cattlemen, you can kiss this store goodbye. You know, I like Dan Harper. I think someone has given him a dirty deal. Sure looks like it. Yeah. Might as well cross him off. How much was that to what? $236.40. For me? Yep, you've done pretty well. You got a letter from the Cattlemen's Association and a postcard from your Aunt Emmy. She says she hasn't been feeling as good as she might. Is great and land more important to you than a man's life? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what I'm talking about? You know, all this hullabaloo about the farmers in the valley is phony. Someone's promoting trouble for some reason. It could be the ranchers. Don't you dare accuse me of anything like that. You better mind your own business or make tracks and make them fast. I won't take that kind of talk from you or anybody else. That thieving trash that's settled in the valley has been stealing cattle. We never had any trouble here before they moved in, and we've had nothing but trouble since. And to top it all, they killed one of my men. Sure. 
hurry. You better stand aside, Pollock. We've got a job to finish. You might be wrong. They, uh, they claim I was mixed up in the murder of that Kirby Plunger. I was lucky to escape with my life. You sure were. Now you've got a law court here where this can be settled fair and square. And that's the way it's going to be. Well, the sheriff ain't doing nothing about the rustling and killing that's been going on. I think it's about time we got some action. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, you hear what the man said? Hey, Billy. Here's the fellow that bought the gun. You notice he's only wearing one. You two better be smart and start minding your own business before somebody gets hurt. Anytime you want to give me a word, you can step right up. Yeah, and that goes for me, too. Vic was my friend, and I'm going to see that someone hangs for his murder. Dan Harper is the kingpin among them cow stealing nesters, and I'm going in after him. I'm not fooling, Red. I hope you can see this my way, because it'll be a lot better for all concerned. Much obliged, Fuzz. That scattergun sure has a common effect when you're on the wrong end of it. Yeah, old Betsy packs a lot of authority. How do you feel, Dan? Oh, I'll be all right. I don't like the idea of a stranger setting himself up to tell us how to run our business. Oh, uh, take it easy, Red. He'll soon come down off his high horse. with harboring an outlaw? I'm not harboring anybody. Well, what would you call a rustler and a murderer if he's not an outlaw? Wild talk isn't going to do anybody any good. Now, if you want to swear out a warrant against Dan Hopper, I'll be glad to turn him over to the sheriff. If you haven't got the courage to do that, you better keep your mouth shut. That didn't take any courage. Being a woman, you know that you can get away with it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I will swear out the warrant. That suits me fine. I'd like to see you prove something against me. Let's go to the sheriff's office. He's out of town. All right, have me locked up until he gets back. Can I have your word for it? Those fellas outside won't cause any trouble? You can. That's all right. Let's get going. Red, I'm holding you responsible, and I don't want any trouble. We're taking this fellow over to the sheriff. I want you to lock Dan up. Miss Kirby there will swear out a warrant when the sheriff gets back. Not much of a farmer, Dan, but I'll keep an eye on your place for you. Well, I don't know how to thank you, Billy. Don't try. You'll be all right here till we get things straightened out. I'll send over Dr. Patchy up. Thanks. Hello, Dan. Hello, Mr. Hopper. The Carson put over a fast one on you, huh? They can't prove anything against Dan Harper, and even if they could, we won't let him come to trial. Well, what good will that do? Plenty. Some night you and the boys have the sheriff, and Harper will disappear. The cattlemen will think the farmers rescued him, and the farmers will think the cattlemen hung him. You get it? Yeah. Not bad. Hey, Billy, look over there. What about it? Oh, that fellow that bought the gun was riding with the cowboys and shouting for him to hang Dan Hopper. He was? Yeah. And Steve Kinney had been trying to frog the farmers into making a war with the cattlemen. And the two of them act very chummy outside of working hours. Yeah. It does look as if he's trying to play both ends against the middle. Sure do. But how are we going to prove it? I don't know. There's some unfinished business between you and me. Why don't you get that chip off your shoulder, Red? I'm not mad at you. Well, that makes this your lucky day. <laughs> and watch your step. What'd you say? You can't open your mouth without getting your foot in the can. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the trial starts tomorrow. So far as I can see, there's no trouble brewing. You know, Fudd, I think we can settle this quarrel if we can get both sides out in the open, talking things over face to face. 
I hope they soon start thinking about paying off my money instead of gun smoke. Mm. If I don't get the money to pay my bills, I ain't gonna have nothing to sell. Got a letter here saying to pay my bill or send the stuff back, and I ain't got no stuff to send back. All I got is a lot of figures in the book there. Uh, where's my blotter? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hang one of these things on her nose someday if she don't stop planting them around here. And I got enough trouble without that female buffalo planting traps all over the place. But I remember first. Be calm and dignified. Now, how does anybody be calm and dignified with bills staring your face? Bills, bills, bills! <laughs> Yeah, the sheriff's by himself, and I sent the deputies on a wild goose chase. The rest of you go in there and grab Harper. Link feet with the horses, and remember, keep your faces well covered. Oh, don't worry. I know my way around. Keep your shirt on. You've made mistakes before. Listen to me, and I'll tell you how to handle this. All right, mastermind. How? Uh, I'm tired, Fuzz. I'm going to turn in. I'll leave you with your profit. Yeah. <laughs> profit. Steve Kenny's been having company. I don't give a hoop he's having a fit. Get out of here. Oh, wait a minute, Fudge. It breaks my heart to see you so unhappy. Come on now, give us a big smile. I'll give you a poke in the nose. I'm going broke and you think it's funny. <laughs> I ain't running away. I'm going to stay here and stand trial. You're going with me whether you like to or not. Come on. Let's go. Pull down your mask. took me by surprise and got my prisoner. Who were they? I don't know. They had their faces covered. That's bad. There's going to be a lot of people disappointed tomorrow if we don't have a trial. And you're not telling me anything. This town's full of human dynamite. They won't take much to start an explosion. Maybe you can find Harper. Oh, there isn't any time to start looking for him now. I'd better stay in town and try to keep peace until they cool off. The trouble is, I don't even know whether or not it was his friends that took him out of jail. The other side might not have felt too sure about a conviction and decided to jump the gun. I'll take him on from here. You three hang back and see that we're not followed. Well, if you're going to murder me, why don't you do it here and get it over with? I don't be in a hurry. You may be more useful to us alive.
What's this I hear about Dan Harper escaping the night before he's to go on trial? That's right. A gang took him out of jail. Do you think we'll stand for that sort of a runaround? If he was afraid to go on trial, that's proof enough for me that he was guilty. Well, I ain't sure that they were his friends last night. Well, I am, and it's about time we got rid of that bunch of rustlers. If you can't do the job, we'll do it for you. It's plain enough that the cattlemen have taken the law into their own hands, and I wouldn't think that any friends of Dan Harper's would sit back and do nothing about it. Why, if you haven't the gumption to fight back, they'll ride over your rough shot. Well, wait a minute, man, wait a minute. Don't be stampeded by this fella. You got a reason for wanting to cause trouble, and it ain't for their benefit. Don't talk like that unless you can back it up with facts. <clears throat> You keep talking like that, you'll get yourself into serious trouble. Uh, he's been trying to promote trouble between the settlers and the, and the cattlemen. Well, Steve Mayer talked a little careless, but he wouldn't cause trouble. That wouldn't make sense. He's got too much invested here. Now, I can't order you men out of town, but I do wish you'd go home. At least stay off the street and don't chance a run-in. Uh, well, 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 you ordered me. Uh, oh, me. I wish I knew where Billy was. He's probably out gallivanting around someplace, and the lid's liable to blow off of this town any minute. Up there. Ah, oh, there's nothing to worry about. You're just jumpy from staying up here alone. Maybe so, but I'm glad to have company. <laughs> Harper. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, if that's the way you feel about it. You wouldn't kill me. Why not? You tried to kill me. For the last time, where is he? They're holding him out of shack not far from here. That's better. Thought you look like a man that had good common sense. I'll tie you up so that you won't wander off and get lost. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, that ought to hold you for a while. So you're the one who's at the bottom of all this trouble. Sure. Cattlemen don't love nesters, so it's easy to lay suspicion on you fellows. You talk. What's the difference? 
He won't be repeating anything he hears. in town, Dan. Well, maybe you think I won't be happy to go with you. I thought I'd never see town again. Come on, get up on your feet. How'd you find this place? Uh, it took a little persuading, but Steve Kinney told me how to find you. With a dirty double crosser. I'll fix him. Thanks. It's just what I wanted to hear. Now go on, get out of here. If those nesters think they can make fools of us, I've got another thing coming. There's a bunch of them over in the store, and I'm in favor of having a showdown right now. That's That's right. Right. Just a minute. Just a minute. It's my job to keep the peace here, and I won't have that kind of talk. There's no sense in causing useless bloodshed. Hey, what's the idea? Take it easy, Sheriff. We just want to get you out of harm's way. That's no, all. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Take your hands off of me. Do you understand? Take your hands off of me. Take your hands off of me. You fellas shouldn't have stayed here in town. There's going to be trouble as sure as I'm a foot high and ain't going to do nobody no good. Oh, you fellas know this ain't right. You're interfering with the due process of the law. All right, we'll let you out pretty soon. Dan Harper hit out or we're coming in after you. Ain't nobody here that knows anything about Dan Harper. Ah, uh, we heard all that before. We'll give you just three minutes to sing a different song. Three minutes. Whenever you give the word. Just one minute more. There you're at, Miss Smith. Dan Hopper can tell you all about it. I got another straight around up.
a hurry, Kenny. Why, I was... Your I was... friends want you to join them at the jail. They told us the whole story. If you don't mind, I'll take that. Sure, why not? You ain't got nothing on me. Carson, uh, do you think we should incarcerate him? Anything you say, Mr. Jones. Hello. Hello. I owe you an apology. Yeah, don't give it a thought. I, uh, I could use a foreman if you'd be interested. I'm much obliged, but I never settle down long in one place. <laughs> I'm too restless. You know, Fuzzy? I'm getting kind of used to seeing you around here. I think I'll marry oh, you. Oh, no, you don't. Billy, this is so a story. If you can't sell it, give it away. I, I, I'm through. 